Coming up on today's San Francisco 49ers report, could the Niners trade for Chase Young to team a backup with Nick Bosa, a throwback to their days at Ohio State? And according to Dan Patrick, the 49ers checked in on and kicked the tires on a Lamar Jackson trade. Could a trade still happen? Because oftentimes some of these big mega acquisitions happen during the NFL draft, which is coming your way tomorrow. And speaking of that, San Francisco not on the board until 99th overall, barring a trade up. And on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel, we will be live for the first round, second round, all the way through day three and the seventh round. Every single selection, every single day, every single pick, we'll be breaking it down. And it all begins Thursday at 6 o'clock Eastern. So make sure you subscribe at youtube.com slash chatsportstv. And here on the San Francisco 49ers report earlier today, I released my final mock draft. Go back and watch it. And we will be live here on the 49ers report for the entire third round as they are on the board with three picks at 99, 101, and 102. Can't wait to see you all. Super Chat giveaways and Super Chat games on deck, and it's going to be an absolute blast. Let's begin today's show with Lamar Jackson here. Dan Patrick, the longtime legendary radio host, saying today that he reached out to a source and was told that the 49ers kicked the tires and showed interest in a Lamar Jackson trade. Here's the direct quote from Patrick and then my reaction to follow as well as looking at why this might make sense in the player that Lamar is. I was told this yesterday, the Niners have monitored everything, including Lamar Jackson. They've explored that or at least looked at it. They kicked the tires on that and of course, you should do that always try to improve as an organization. Now, if this is in fact true, and Dan Patrick has a little bit of a spotty record in terms of his reporting, he's one of the goats as far as sports radio goes here in America, I imagine this call went something like this. What would it cost to trade for Lamar Jackson? And if the Baltimore Ravens said, we want Trey Lance, Brandon Ayuk, and another player, as well as some draft picks, maybe San Francisco is interested in that asking price. But if Baltimore wanted a Nick Bosa on top of that, that's when you hang up that phone. Now, this is why Lamar Jackson is somewhat appealing to the Niners, as well as other teams in the National Football League. And it's actually shocking that he doesn't have a team as of right now, because his future in Baltimore, questions around it. And there hasn't been a team that's offered him that long-term deal that he is seeking. But Lamar is an excellent player. And he has a long track record of success. And he's more talented than any quarterback in the Niners quarterback room right now. He would make this team very, very fascinating. As far as a scheme fit goes, he could be a scheme fit in Kyle Shanahan's offense. But I worry about the durability because he's missed 10 games over the last two December and January. So that's a problem when you're in the thick of a playoff race. But, guys, 26 years old, still in his prime, 46-19 and 19 as his starter. He's won nearly 71% of his starts throughout his career out of Louisville. Dynamic dual threat ability was very difficult to stop. He's already got an MVP under his belt and staggering production throughout his career. But, of course, with Lamar Jackson on top of the injury issues, has he reached his ceiling as a passer? The numbers might indicate that, right? Because in 2019, he's awesome. Won the league's MVP award in his second year in the NFL. Completed 66% of his passes, more than 3,100 yards. 36 touchdowns to six picks. From that point on, some defenses have made some adjustments and the completion percentage has not increased and the passing numbers have kind of flatlined to a certain degree. Now, big reason for that, the injuries. 12 games played in 2022, 12 games played in 2021. In 2021, 16 touchdowns, 13 picks. This year, this past year, I should say, I thought he was playing pretty solid football before he went out. And it's not like Baltimore has had a stable of very good weapons for him at his disposal as a good supporting cast. So he comes to the Bay Area and he's playing with Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey with the defense that the Niners do have. And I think that Lamar Jackson could have an MVP caliber season. That's why this is really fascinating. But I think it's become clear and clear, especially over the last couple of weeks, that the Niners are pretty content with where their quarterback room is. They really like Brock Purdy. All comes down to the injury. They don't love Trey Lance. Here's the difference between Nick Bosa and Trey Lance. John Lynch said that hotline is closed. It was never open for Nick Bosa. When asked about trading Trey Lance, he said, we take calls on anybody. And I think they like Sam Darnold as a backup, and 
there's some buzz out there that San Francisco really likes him, and he could end up starting games for San Francisco here in 2023 as a cost-controlled asset. Don't believe the Niners are going to trade for Lamar Jackson. Very, very interesting, though. But what do you think? Would you want Lamar on this football team? S for you think he's a stud. He would elevate this offense. They'd become Super Bowl favorites. Or type N for no. Let us know. Another reminder, too, as you venture down to the comment section, because we always love hearing from you, make sure you subscribe to the show. Niners content all day, every day. You have to be built different out on these streets as a content creator. That's what we do. Who else is putting videos out every single day? It's like me and Grant Cohn. That's about it. So show us some love. Subscribe. Well past 80,000 subscribers at this point. Let's round out the show with another trade candidate and another trade rumor. Could the Niners trade for Chase Young here? According to reports, Commander's not going to exercise his fifth-year option. And the internet buzz from the faithful. Right when this report came out a little bit earlier today, Everybody was saying, do what you have to do, John Lynch, to make this trade happen. And the idea of Chase Young is certainly an appealing one. There are a lot of concerns, though. Why is that? Because he had a pretty in-depth surgery on his ACL back in 2021. And his last two years, he has played a combined 12 games. Now, we'll look at his college production coming up around the corner. But what he's capable of is what you saw during his rookie campaign in 2020 when he played 15 games, had eight sacks, 44 tackles, four forced fumbles. What he did at Ohio State, stupid. But then he tears his ACL in 2021 after only having played nine games. Why did he have two sacks that year? A little bit of a concern. Then he comes back this year, only plays three games. One of them came against the Niners, and that's when this photo was taken between Nick Bosa and Chase Young. They were both teammates at Ohio State and both high picks right when they came out. And it's unfortunate for Buckeyes fans out there because they did play together in 2018. Not for long, though. Nick Bosa had that core muscle injury, which cut his final season at Ohio State and Columbus short. Now, he only played three games that year, still had four sacks. But my goodness, can you imagine... Quarterbacks would have had nightmares in the Big Ten going up against both of these if they both played 12 games. Because for Chase Young, these numbers, flat out phenomenal. 16 and a half sacks in 12 games, 21 tackles for loss, 7 forced fumbles, 32 solo tackles. He was so good. If the knee is okay, Chase Young is a really interesting player to team up on the other side of Nick Bosa. If Washington were to exercise his fifth-year option, they would have owed him more than $17 million. The franchise tag for a defensive end is very, very expensive. I think the commanders want to see if he can stay healthy this year. And if he's able to produce, they sign up to that long-term deal. Or does the news of this come out prior to the NFL draft because the Washington commanders want to see what they can get back for Chase Young in a potential trade. But a Chase Young healthy and Nick Bosa edge pairing, that could blow your mind. Washington, may I interest you in a player like Trey Lance? You need a quarterback. San Francisco could use an edge rusher. San Francisco really likes Brock Purdy. If they're encouraged by the development and the progress of his elbow surgery, do they trade Trey Lance away? And could they get Chase Young back? You get your future quarterback and the Niners get their future edge rusher if he's able to stay healthy. Something to obviously float out there and it's very interesting nonetheless. So what would you give up for Chase Young? I floated out Trey Lance, and it's so funny. People are in the comment section. They're chirping at me on Twitter. They're like, you want the Niners to trade Trey Lance. You don't like him. If you actually watch the show and listen to what I say, I've never said that. I'd say, hold on to Trey Lance. Give him every single snap this offseason to see what he can do. So if you're still watching right now, that means that you're a real one. Type real one down in the chat. Join the conversation in the comment section, and make sure you subscribe.